他旁边坐啦。干呐 ，OK OK OK， 喂，我换，哎，看我坐了 ，sorry sorry。Welcome to a brand new segment called Zula Answers. I'm Brenda, and I'm Bolin. And previously, we shot an Azula episode with Fauzi, right? Where we reacted to confessions, and then after some discussion with the team, we decided to refine the segment, and now we have an official name called Zula Answers. Wow! So, so we'll basically be reacting to some dilemmas that people will share on the internet. Wow! And then we will be providing some unsolicited advice from our end, lah. It's just yeah, our point of view, yes, um, yes. our perspective. <laughs> Don't take it too seriously. So Bolin is gonna be my co-host for this segment. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Uh, but y'all can just leave in the comments if y'all do want him, lah. Yeah. Uh, yes. So today's topic is Wow, what's Drum today's roll. topic? Whoa, da, 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 da. Relationship dilemmas And I think you're the perfect person for this <sighs> <laughs> Okay, so the producer has compiled a list of submissions Okay, so we have a bonus confession Okay The title is My Alien Girlfriend <laughs> I like okay. how it's like, Bo, this has 800 plus shares and 400 plus comments on NUS Whispers. Yeah, I, I love the what, It's viral, eh? It's considered viral already. It's viral already, already la, it's viral. Okay, wow. I don't know why, right? But. You are alien, it just. I you, feel a bit you, attacked by this the first line already. So, my girlfriend has a naturally gangster and savage attitude and talks like an alien when she's very angry. Wait, wait. The, is, your, is it your secret? In any way, right? <laughs> <laughs> She's also a fighter, so you wouldn't want to mess with someone like her. On the other hand, she can also be really nice, sweet and kind. Anyway, sometimes when I accidentally do something and it gets on her nerves or triggers her, she talks like an alien gangster towards me and says things like, Come on and talk lah! Come on and Okay, 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 wait, you want? I, I come on talk now, sorry, sorry. And I legitimately feel scared of her. And now I do feel attacked by this. Because you know you are an alien! No, I don't know that I am, but people tell me that I can be an alien when I'm angry. No. You don't know right Keep now? Keep included. No, I'm... Um, you say before. See? <laughs> the, the eye is, is as good as come on talk like Nina. <laughs> wow, she, and she's a fighter eh. Don't know lah, like, it can be metaphorical lah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a fighter, like, you don't you know, mess with her. She fights for her life, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like, if not, then She one fights is... for people's life, then, then it's yeah, a doctor, oh. you know? <laughs> doctor! We know enough budget! Come on talk like Nina. <laughs> I think this guy, right, got a bit of uh, the kinky stuff going on. Huh? What? He likes to be scared. Uh, but she never said he like. No, then why is still it No but maybe he he love her lah, but then he legit feels scared though this one not he like hey. No, you see if he, if she she naturally has like a gangster and savage attitude, right? That means that's part of the the vibe that she gives off yeah, and, yeah, yeah. like normally ma. Then yeah, like maybe uh, he like the fact that she's very straightforward. She can stand up for herself. Maybe no? lah. Because I feel like in this world got two kinds of girls. The first one right is those very um girly like uh, cannot do anything for themselves. But there's a, another type of girl who can like stand up for themselves and just very straightforward. You know they don't need anyone to protect them. I mean I mean these two example is quite at the far, uh, extreme end Yeah, I, I mean they are, they they are, are middle, like ground. middle grounds yeah. Here right, what I can see is there's a little bit of like anger management issues <laughs> where like some things can be delivered better. The delivery is off la. Yeah, the come out and talk like one scary. Imagine very small things, then she talk like that. I feel like it's an issue. Eh? Maybe one possible solution is like you you mentioned that she can also be very sweet, nice, and kind. So maybe when she's in that mood, <laughs> try to talk to her. But then, given her temper and her anger management issue, you might need to already craft what you wanna say beforehand. Wow, I mean true lah, but I feel that in a relationship, if you have to do that, then it's very tiring. I feel love is about compromise. Oh, okay. So in terms of uh, your delivery, maybe both sides can can rebalance a little bit. Maybe instead of come to Akanina, you can just say, oh Akanina. It's still bad, but... Like mutter under your breath. Yeah, just yeah, mutter yeah. a bit like, okay, okay. <laughs> never mind, then never mind. I just come down and talk with you. <laughs> hey, lie, talk. Hey, very good lah you. Right, you can still yeah. see back but <laughs> it's still, it's yeah. like... A bit more mellow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Maybe maybe this is a compromise lah. But if not, I think this this two this two is actually not a, a bit very, hard, uh, not a very good match. I feel lah. So because uh this this post has a lot a lot of comments, right? Yes. We are going to be reading out some of the top ones. This comment has yeah. hundred and one likes ah. Sometimes you must also speak her lingo and be behave like her to blend well with her. Have some sparring sessions. <laughs> <laughs> so I was fight. Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. Have some sparring sessions with her occasionally and you will make her proud to be her BF. 
But again, you must also know how to return to your own self and be really nice, sweet and kind. Who knows next time she might be the one who writes in here to ask for advice. But, but uh, actually, I agree with that part about the sparring sessions eh. Because uh-huh. no, maybe that is her way. No! Maybe that's her way to vent her anger. But of course, spa is like not like a random dangerous place lah. Like, go to a legit, I don't know, like <laughs> HDB. studio. HDB, he'll, his big back will break, dude. No, 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 no. Okay, I, I feel right. Even if the guy, wow, I think this is a good advice. I think, huh, uh, it's not fair lah. Now it's the guy, wow, the guy become magician, no? I change to, okay, I blend in well, linguistic your lingo. I have to revert back to myself to be nice, sweet and kind. Like, uh, no la, xiao, you what? I saw another comment. What, which one? You read, read, read. Master, read. You like her in the first place for her? Dot, 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 question mark. You see her as a potential partner or not? Yeah, you need to man up and stand out your ground <laughs> if you feel that she's rude to you. Don't be soft and let her step on your head. If everything fails, either you leave or learn wrestling. <laughs> All the funny comment jokes aside, I feel mm, mm. Uh, firstly is you have to tell yourself why you like the girl in the first place. Is it because she can be sweet and nice sometimes because of the sometime or because of her gangster and savage attitude? Yeah. Yeah. So if you know that it's not because of the gangster savage attitude, then you know you are in deep shit, man. Yeah, because that's that the wrong is, person. That is like her as a whole, right, it's a mixture of her alien side yeah. and her sweet side. So if you cannot take one side, right, um, I think it's best to end things because Just, yeah. she that side of her will never leave. Like right. once an alien, forever an alien. Like I feel like it's always easy. So weird. Yeah, you 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 one one part of the video you say you're not alien, the other part you're like <laughs> Then you wanna fight? Anyway, so uh, I feel right. Um, you have to just do a simple test. Write down 10, 10 things you like about her. Oh. If you cannot, right? Then you write down 10 things you don't like about her. If you have more things you don't like about her than yes, right? Then you know the pro- yeah. where the problem is really, ma. It's quite True. quite simple to target this issue. And it, right now, it's just you don't want to let go. Yeah, but of course, right now, you have to resort your, your priorities first. Resort why you are into this person in the first place first. All the good and all the bad. Then from there you target the ball. Bloody hell, you you deserve an award for the answer, man. Okay, <laughs> let's get to the first confession. Which and nice boyfriend is not enough. Wow. I feel a bit conflicted about my current boyfriend. Okay. He comes from a super rich family and his parents are super supportive. He loves volunteering, but I won't say more because his friends might recognize this post. Okay. My problem comes from the fact that he is working in a volunteer role that pays him next to nothing. He has the degree and connections to be earning way more, but he doesn't as he wants to be helping people. When I asked him about doing the volunteering part-time and getting a more lucrative job, he told me that people rarely have the luxury to pursue what they want without worrying about financial security. Whoa. <sighs> this guy has a heart of gold. I feel like it shows yeah, a lot about upbringing. Mm. His parents really brought him up very well. Mm. And although he is rich, right, he is humble also. Right. And he's willing to help people. But I kind of understand what the girl is trying yeah, to say. Yeah, correct, correct. Yeah. Because I, I do feel like um, the different environment that you grew up in will kind of shape your different views. Yes. Because this guy, he grew up in a more affluent family, right? Yes. So it's a bit easier on him to have this kind of views rather than someone who, say, is struggling to even make ends meet. Correct. His parents have given him their full support and the lump sum they left for him is definitely able to support him and myself comfortably till we are old and grey. Whoa! Okay. So even if we raise a full more team of children, we'll have no financial problems. Eh? This all sounds amazing, but I can't get past him not having a good job. Introducing him to friends and family, I tend to think twice about how to describe his career. Just last week, when I met my girlfriends for drinks, we were chatting about how their lives were going. Some of them gloated about how much their boyfriend husbands are making and I couldn't help but feel like shit. Wow, this... I, I, I sort of... I understand it's a real that. problem. It's, it's a real, a real problem. problem. Yeah. Um, for Asian context, whenever we meet up, right, the first few questions is like, oh, you know, are you attached? Oh, what are your boyfriend right, doing? Right, right. So there's confirmed gonna be that like societal stress mm. to 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 wanna make sure that your boyfriend is kind of like shed in the best light possible. Correct. Yeah, I'm not saying that volunteering is a bad job, you know. Mm. It's just that sometimes it's just not a conventional job that other people might be used to. They only glance over me calling my boyfriend Tai Zi. So what's that? Tai Zi like prince. Uh. Oh prince. So I don't know if it's a status thing or a mer- material... <laughs> oh, no. Yes, I was expecting this. I don't know if it's a status <laughs> thing or a materialistic thing. I can foresee the gold digger comments, but anyone with any sort of uh, insight, please do comment. 
I would really appreciate advice right now. I'm just, I just want to question a bit about why the girlfriend here seems kind of embarrassed mm. to reveal the boyfriend's job when she knows for a fact that he's doing a good thing. Right, right now, yeah. it seems like she's prioritizing her own image over what he likes yeah. to do, which is a bit wrong. She needs to sit down and reflect about the situation. You have to reprioritize your, your mindset. Correct, yeah. correct. Because if your boyfriend is doing what he likes, there's nothing wrong about it. So let's make this comparison. Okay. What if the guy is rich and he is earning much more than like maybe let's say doing volunteering. Like say he's a director of a company. Then things will be different, right? Her point of view. She'll be so be so okay to share with her friends. My boyfriend is a director at X. Of course company. la, who don't want to yeah. share, right? So why can't you be as equally proud of your boyfriend when he's doing something like what he likes? You know? So basically when she say if, I don't know if this is a status thing or materialistic thing, mm. uh, it's sort of is la. Yeah, it, it's it not even sort of, it is la. Yeah, let's not talk about the rich part. La. Like yeah. he is a nice person, okay? He is nice. In relationship and also out of the relationship in terms mm -hmm. of like doing volunteering work, I think he's a nice guy. So that itself it's very good already. Mm -hmm. So I think right when you are out meeting your friends, right, I think you can just be be open and Correct. just say Yes! I don't think it's very nice of your friends to do that. Mm. Like, true friends won't do that. Yeah, exactly. True but friends will support you and say, uh, in terms of need, just be there for you. And not like be there, like bad mouthing your, yep. your other half. Right now, it's not like the guy is like drinking, yeah, partying, correct, correct, correct. then not working. So, right now, it's really more on how the girlfriend is uh, feeling mm, in terms correct, of like correct. the surrounding opinions. I, I don't think that it's a good thought she has to. Because some 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 people might be okay with just living off like the the parents like, mm. amount that they give to the son. Correct. Like some people will just keep quiet and live like why not you know like have money yep. be stable all the way. But I think this girl has these thoughts because she sees a future with him. Mm. So he she kind of wants to make sure that he has a goal in mind for the future. Right. So I think that's why that's where her issues stem from. Okay, I do have a similar situation to share. Okay. It's almost the exact same situation by the way. So someone I know, they are married. Wow. With kids. Wow, this one is yeah. like, it's basically them but in the future. Alright, okay, the husband comes from a rich family. Mm -hmm. uh, initially had what you would call a lucrative job, like a desk job. Okay. That earns like enough to support the family, right? Um, but then because of some reasons, he decided to um, change to social work. So what happened was the wife initially didn't really need to work. Right, because the husband wow. was a sole okay. breadwinner. But then after this happened, they need <clears> to have a discussion. And then right now, the wife is the one hustling and earning more than him because they need to feed the kids, man, they have kids eh. right. If I'm not wrong, the parents were actually willing to give money, like the guy's parents. But they, they, but they don't, don't want. want. Uh, mm, they're strong. Yeah. So you say they're weak. They know. <laughs> no, cannot, no, 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 uh, they're not weak, they're not weak, they're not weak. Uh, okay, okay. It's just, different family got different ways of handling things. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So right now, I feel that what you can, how, uh, how you can approach your boyfriend or yeah. perhaps in that case, to solve the issue, right, is since now you have money, right, you like to do social work, right, correct? You found yourself a company that correct. does social work. Like just open. But it cannot be open. just purely non-profit. Yeah, 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 I understand. Yeah. So in that way, right, you're creating jobs for people. Then not just helping yeah. know, the, the poor or whatever, you're, you're also like creating jobs. Elevating your goal. Correct. Taking it to the next yeah. level. Because just now you mentioned about goal, mm -hmm. right? I think these are very good goals to set. You right? can talk to him, you know, like some of the money um, take to like open your own non-profit organization yeah, yeah. and then some of the money go and invest, you know. Okay, so confession number two. Boyfriend never posts about me on social media. This one, I can relate. Okay, oh, I can relate. Oh. Okay, so whenever I ask my boyfriend whether I should upload our photo, he's always against that idea, saying that you know he wants to have privacy and about how people can take and manipulate our photos and use them for bad things. Firstly, uh, I'm very confused about the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the bad things and manipulate. La. But this sounds a bit sus really. Yeah, 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 yeah. A bit sus. It's la. like a very fluffy reason. Right? Yeah. So I'm an overthinker, so in my mind I was like, he doesn't want people to know we are dating. Or is it because I'm not good enough to show off? Maybe his friends and family don't like me and he has to stay low-key about us. But I don't want to bombard him with all these questions because he'll think I'm crazy just uh, uh, as everyone else would. Wow. Wow, wow. a bit sad because she mentioned he, he will think I'm crazy just as everyone else would. And not too long ago, I discovered that my boyfriend's ex still has their couple pics on her social media even though it's been over two years since they broke off. Wow. 
Mm-hmm. Mm. Stranger. Before you think I'm a stalker, let me tell you, I just coincidentally found it out when I was searching my boyfriend's name and the pic just popped up because he was tagged in it. As you might expect, I'm a little insecure about all this and have a bad feeling and I'm overthinking stuff. How do I get out of this? So the most sus part, right, mm. is the fact that she found his ex's Instagram and then it still contains photos of her and her boyfriend. Yes. It's not wrong of the ex to keep the photos. Because, mm. you know, some people just don't find it necessary to remove images off social media. Yep. But the sus part is why the boyfriend okay with posting pics last time but not now. I, I don't blame the girl for overthinking mm. because why but not now because is it I'm not good yeah, enough you know I can imagine so, yeah. it's like valid thoughts that I would have like I would say for every relationship there are no like hard or fast rules mm. uh, everyone has their different like love language or the way they express love maybe one of her ways one of the ways she expresses herself is through social media yep. but not for the boyfriend for me right, last time uh, I I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a person that also wants to you know like post a lot of stuff because uh, last time I have a lot of underground relationships. Why right? need to be underground relationship? It tie a uh, text back to the first confession. It's about so a bit of money, a bit opposite lah. Oh, so okay, okay. Uh, I'm I'm from a very very poor family background, mm. you know. And firstly, secondly, I'm I'm like a lot younger than her. Mm. Yeah. Then her parents is like straight up don't don't agree. Eh? So there are certain reasons uh, for this one to. Uh, not post on social media. Mm. So I sort of understand. It just hurt a lot. But now, this one, right, the reason for not mm. posting is because, oh, you know, people can, you know, manipulate or photo. First thing I want to say, uh, you think it's so easy to manipulate photos, man? I mean, right now, sure, you have some, uh, what, uh, face swap app and all mm, that kind mm, of stuff, mm. right? It's still not convincing <laughs> enough. What manipulate, what photo is valid? Only if, right, uh, it makes sense now that, say, for example, you are a high profile. Mm. A uh, high profile person. Yeah, I get it. Eh. You are maybe the son of a certain prime minister. Oh, yeah. okay. oh no, that one cannot, cannot, cannot. Uh, Blackpink's boyfriend. Whoa. Okay, whoa. whoa! I would say not really best. Uh, one of the one of a good solution to this that I feel is a good solution is to create an IG account uh. that is private, but it's a couple IG account. Yeah. So you you say you scared like manipulate photos right for bad things right? Mm. You can only accept people that you trust. At least you have your own, you know, like safe haven of all mm. your uh, your photos mm. and stuff to be proud of each other and stuff. It's like a good uh, middle ground lah. Okay, I think overall, like from the girl's point of view, um, there's a communication breakdown. You mentioned that you're insecure about the ex having their couple pictures on the Instagram. I think there's nothing to be insecure about lah. I think she, uh, she's insecure. So I think it's because... Oh, because of the, the fact that he's you know, okay to post. He's okay is one thing. Second thing is... Of every media photo or whatever, all the media files that's on that are online, the only so-called couple photos with him, right, is the ex. Alama. You get okay, what I mean? okay, so yeah, I guess yeah. that's where to solve this entire issue, right? You have to have to know the actual reasoning why he don't want. Yeah. To. So if if you know and it makes sense, then it's very simple, really. So right now, the the really sus part is, it's like he's trying to hide something. Like yeah. That. Yeah. Maybe he's cheating. I feel very sad to say this, but there's a possibility yeah. that he yeah. just doesn't want to post about mm. his relationship on social media because to keep his option option open. Correct. You know, you need to, okay. I think you need to talk to him like serious talk kind, but then don't give him heads up. Like you need to talk in real life and not text, cause you need to see uh, his real life reaction. Yeah. Cause when you text him right, he can actually um hide things from you easier because his facial expression, everything will be like off ma, not mm-hmm. there. Mm-hmm. If you find a bit sus right, a bit fluffy, then you start interrogating the shit out of him. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Well, as if <laughs> he's on, he's on he's Zola that. investigation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well. No, because if it's sus right and he doesn't he starts you know stuttering and not having valid reasons mm. for things that he does right means he's obviously hiding something yeah. you, need, something and you need to stop something is wrong something you need to stop wrong. blaming yourself yeah. it's not your fault this one in a relationship it takes two hands to clap mm. more of the story just go and grab your BF and go and talk 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 okay. talk yeah. go and ask let's move on to confession 3 okay? confession 3 losing feelings for my boyfriend ah damn in a dilemma now and I need some advice been in a relationship with my boyfriend for close to a year only around a month back where I start to think back about how I seem to be taken for granted and the lack of effort from his side I talked to my close friends about the issues raised to get their views and they agreed that the basic things I should have in a relationship is not there 
end up after much courage, I decided to have a long talk on all the issues I felt which my boyfriend listened and took in. I honestly told him that my feelings for him has dropped because of those issues too. I requested a cool off period to clear my mind and sort my thoughts out. Through this period, he really reflected, felt guilty, even his fam and friends scolded him for not treating me better. I think so far Just so very curious about the issues because it's yeah. not listed out. Like what Haven't exactly yet. made her feel that okay. she's taken for granted. Mm. This incident woke him up and mm. I can see the 180 degrees change in him. Putting in more effort and stuff. But thing is, I'm afraid the feelings I have for him is gone really. Oh wow, how relatable. <gasps> Hang out together. Ayah! Ayah! <laughs> Hang out together felt kind of one-sided with him, with only him showing the physical affections. Actions I used to do before, I'm not doing now, like small hugs or elevators and uh, on elevator, small hugs on elevator. Okay, I like how escalator, escalator or elevator. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> Subconsciously, right when I do small hugs, it's always in the elevator. <laughs> You can say escalator and lifts. Yeah, so same, same. Okay, I saw, I saw. You like also lah. Okay. Anyway. He's really scared to lose me in his life and sees me as the future one. Months back, I would say I see a future with him too, but now, my answer is unsure. He's a nice guy, stable job, can talk and interact well with my family and they like him too. My friends say to give it a 2-3 to three month period to see you know, if he change. But I'm scared I can't even hold that long putting up a double front. Wow. I'm not sure what to do now. Open to advices, please. Thank you. I can tell from this story that this girl has very strong self-worth. Which is great. Why I say I can relate is because I did something that my ex feel like it's, it's a red flag kind of thing. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, it's okay. not good, that mm -hmm. this relationship is not working out, you know, things like that. Yeah. But I can, I can say, oh sorry, give me another chance, give me another chance. It wouldn't, it wouldn't help one because it's, the damage has been done really. Mm. But, but he did, he did, did a 180 degree change lah. Yeah. But I guess that's not enough. Yeah, I feel yeah. like because the damage has been done like what you said. Mm. So, and Adding on that her cell phone is very strong, right? She has already set her foot down and decided that um, she will. She has already lost feelings for the guy. Yes. But I have one question for you though. Yep. Like she felt taken for granted and the mm. lack of effort, right? Mm. Does it mean that on his side he already lost feelings? No, because okay, I I I can also give some example from like my fellow bros. Oh, I thought you, but okay. Uh, and me also lah. I think a lot of guys, right? Not all, okay, not all. I'm not trying to generalize. But a lot of guys out there, they have this phase. Okay. You have, I, I put it in the three phases. La. The phase mm -hmm. one is the act of chasing someone that you have a crazy crush on. Mm -hmm. Phase two is, oh, I got it, you know. Now is the, 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 the honeymoon, so period. honeymoon period. Yeah. Phase three is the, oh, we are together for two, three years really. All right, you know, things, it's like the end game really. That's why a lot of uh, female, my female friends, right, they are like, wow, why my guy, my boyfriend or Right now, just you know, treat me for granted. Uh. It's not like last time, what well, was still chase me, uh, what well, do everything for me, right cut for me, mm. come and pick me up. Right now, ask me to take Grab home, what well, loud, you know. Because yeah. that phase, the first phase is over. The chase, the act of chasing is over already. I got you really, you know. Yeah. I wouldn't say that they are sien of the yeah. girl. They are not like sien of the girl. They just sien of the, the process really. Yeah, I would say because from like hearing stories from my friends, right, that third phase happens usually when maybe past the one year mark, that kind of yes. thing. You know, when you are really like so comfortable with each other mm. and it's to the point where I wouldn't say like there's any less love but it's more so like compromise and and responsibility that, yeah, well. that becomes yeah. the priority rather than love really to right. keep the relationship going. Yes. So I think in this case, they lost it. So the guy mentioned when he was um, confronted about these issues that he's scared to lose the girlfriend in his life and that he sees her as the future one but his actions say otherwise. And to me, right, actions speak louder than words. Yes. So, okay, I've heard stories from my friends lah. These things are very common. When someone is about to lose you, then they start to say things that they don't mean to take you back. But then once you get them back, right, change. You become because the same again. Now this is the mini phase one. Yeah. Because I have to rechase yeah. you. Because you are leaving really. I need to faster say my last few lines to salvage correct, the situation. Correct. It's not like he's not scared. He is still really scared. Like you cannot downplay the fact that they've been together for close to yeah, a year. Correct. Definitely they have some sort of importance in correct. each other's lives yeah. really. So he is scared. It's just that I guess he took the relationship in the wrong turn. Nah, you know? Correct. Uh, yeah. So he, too, too bad. Law. Yeah. He didn't uh, like appreciate it enough. I think overall the moral of this story is mm. to not settle for less. Like never settle sounds, for less. Sounds really harsh but... No really, really. But it's true. It, I it's think it's true. very important right for both parties, not just the girl, mm. to recognise the red flags and the signs that show that the relationship is about to end. Mm. And like really just honestly like take this time to 
go your own separate ways. Everyone here, right, has this one reason that they keep clinging on to the relationship and they know very well that there's an expiration date like what you say. But they don't want to admit it. It's, I, I wouldn't say it's not they don't want to do. Okay. I, I, feel, I feel it's because they think they still have options. Mm. They think there's still chance that things might change. Mm. You know, you need to reprioritize and really see your probability. Mm. Then you know, oh, it's really cannot one. Don't, you know, don't stupid really. Then you do the right choice. But there are some, there are some, oh, it's actually quite easy one. So yeah. just ask, ask yourself a simple few questions, then you know the answer really. Yeah, like learn from bowling. No, I think the takeaway, main takeaway from bowling is to write your notes. Yeah, yes, like right. weigh the pros and cons. Yeah. If there are more cons than pros, then of course, I think you need to make the decision. I'm so yeah. sorry. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Zula Answers. And if you have any confessions, whisper stories, whatever, right, you can send it in and uh, we will react accordingly and give you our, you know, two cents. You can leave those in the comments below and of course, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye! See you in the next episode. Bye-bye!